Hey guys, my name is Dice Roland. Once again, I have gone headfirst into the deepest, darkest depths to find even more of the worst horror movies in existence that can only leave one thought in your numbed mind after seeing them. What the fuck? If you've seen my other two lists, then you know exactly what to expect. If you haven't, then strap in, Buttercup, because these are 10 What the Fuck Horror Movies Part 3. Creepshow 3. This is just one example of what happens when studios want to milk that nostalgic creation titty dry. This is a 2006 movie about five anthology style stories. It's the sequel to the original Creepshow and Creepshow 2 that follows the same idea. Except for the cool aesthetic, fun and creepy story premises, recognizable actors, and genuine horror elements. Exorcist 2 The Heretic or as I like to call it, Exorcist 2, fuck it, skip to 3. This is the 1977 sequel to the original Exorcist, where we see a more grown-up Regan. She's still dealing with the demon that possessed her, and a new priest arrives searching for answers involving the death of Father Marin. This is the movie that decided to call the demon Pazuzu out loud, and throw logic out the window much like Father Karras did with himself. Also, locusts? Plan 9 from Outer Space. Ah yes, this 1959D movie classic from Ed Wood himself. This is a movie about some snazzily dressed aliens who decide to bring the dead back to life in order to destroy Earth. Obviously a very simple premise. It also features some familiar faces, like Vampyra, Bella Lugosi, and Tor Johnson. If you want to watch a classic of the so bad it's good horror movie genre that doesn't make a lick of sense, but is a mindless watch, then this may just be the film for you. Ice Queen. This is a movie that Ty L. Burney suggested for this list. This one has some quality entertainment that would make sci-fi jealous. Allow me to set the scene. Written and directed by Neil Kinsella, this is a film about a female creature from the Ice Age that's being transported by plane, but wakes up and kills the people manning the plane. Thus, it crashes near a resort on Killington Mountain. Let me repeat that. A mountain named Killington. And this results in everyone trapped at the resort fighting for their lives against this pissed off frozen cavewoman. So if this ends the same way Jack Frost did, I'm done! Soul Taker. This is a 1990 movie about a group of teens who get in a car accident and die slash go into comas. When the Grim Reaper comes for them, some of the group decides to run, and thus a race between life and death ensues. Also, the Angel of Death is played by the same guy who you may recognize as the Maniac Cop, and the Soul Taker himself is played by Joe Estevez. It's an interesting premise, but I'm sorry I just can't get past that chin. Rubber. This is for Jay Sugar, who questioned why it wasn't on my previous list. Shh, don't worry, I got you. I want to preface this by saying, yes, this is a satirical horror movie, but, uh... Written and directed by Quentin Dupieux... 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 It's always the guys named Quentin that come up with the really weird shit. This is a movie about a sentient car tire that decides to start killing people in a California desert town. And you may be thinking, ah, it must kill people by rolling at a high speed and maiming them or something, right? No, actually, it kills people with its mind powers. Which doesn't make any goddamn sense because it doesn't have a mind to begin with. The incredibly strange creatures who stopped living and became mixed up zombies. <clears throat> this is a 1964 film that's apparently about a man who gets turned into a zombie by the sister of a stripper he falls in love with. And as you can probably predict, he starts killing people left and right. So aside from the title that they somehow still managed to get on the poster for this thing, you really only need to have a quick look at the zombies in this movie to decide just to watch anything else. But in its defense, it's got a whopping 2 out of 10 stars on IMDb. And if you go look Looking for it on Rotten Tomatoes, trust me, you won't find it. 
Track of the Moon Beast. This is a 1976 movie about a guy who gets hit by a chunk of a meteor, which causes him to transform into, quote, a demon lizard monster. So not only did the title lie to us, this doesn't have anything to do with the moon at all. We're dealing with a member of the lizard people race, but you're also telling me that the only way to defeat it is with an ancient mystical Native American arrow. Seriously, this could have ended the same way it did in Creepshow. Meteor ship. Blood Harvest. Have you ever wanted to see Tiny Tim in a horror movie wearing clown makeup? Me neither, but apparently Bill Rubain did, so in 1987 he made this movie. And no, it's not about Joker's origin story. Instead, it's about a college student who returns home to find that her parents have disappeared, and the townsfolk hate them. She also finds out that someone is stalking her, and people around her are being murdered. I do have to say that wherever you think this plot is going, by the end you're likely going to be wrong. One-Eyed Monster. This was recommended by Sir Mr. Mystery 40. I don't think we're gonna be able to top this one, folks. I'd like to know what kind of drugs Adam Fields was taking when he came up with the idea for this movie, because I want to stay the fuck away from them. The premise here is that a porn film crew go to a secluded area in Northern California to do some filming. Their lead star gets hit by what turns out to be an alien who possesses his dick and it detaches itself from him. It then proceeds to kill people in pretty much exactly the way you'd presume a killer penis would. Oh, and did I mention this movie stars Ron Jeremy, whose dick becomes the murderer? What does my life become? And that was my list of 10 more WTF horror movies that you probably now want scrubbed from your mind. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like to let me know, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Which of these movies was the weirdest to you? Which are you most likely to subject yourself to? And if there are any downright bizarre horror movies you'd like to see me check out for another installment of WTF Horror Movies. Also don't forget to share this video to help the channel grow, and subscribe for more videos like this. See you later.